Hey guys, I'm Claire, the Fiddly Fig Girl, and today I wanna to talk about something that I'm so passionate about, and that is bonding with your Fiddly Fig plant. Now, it may seem a little silly, but you know, you wouldn't bring a baby home from the hospital without bonding with it, and you wouldn't bring home a pet from the shelter. So why would you bring a plant into your home without you know, maybe giving it a name and maybe just starting to cultivate a relationship with it? We don't really know how this works, but research has repeatedly shown that houseplants that have a connection with a human or a caretaker are resistant to disease, they live longer, they're healthy, healthier, they grow taller and stronger. So it really works, not only for your relationship with the plant, but for the plant's health, it's good to bond with your plant. So bonding with your fiddly fig may be the very most important thing you do for its longevity. So it can help you to identify any problems early. It can help you to treat your plant better in times of problem, like if it's dropping leaves or if it has brown spots or if it's thirsty. It can really help build your intuition as to what to do to better care for your plant. Bonding with your plant also helps you to remember to water it and fertilize it on time. And it just allows you to enjoy your plant more in your home because you have that special connection. If you want evidence of how you know our intentions and our words and our feelings affect plants, I recommend watching the IKEA plant bullying video. This video really was astonishing because they took two plants that were in exact same conditions and they were actually clones of each other. And one of them, people were instructed to say kind things and to have positive intentions towards the plant. And the other one was bullied and people criticized it and had negative words to say about it. So the astonishing thing is that these two plants responded completely differently, even though their physical locations were the same. The plant with positive intentions really was thriving, it was happy, it was healthy. And the plant with negative words and intentions was absolutely dying within a matter of days. Nobody knows why this happens or how exactly this happens, but it has been proven over and over to be true. So just be aware and be mindful of your intention and your thought and your feelings towards your plant. One fun way to bond with your plant is to consider doing a plant journal. This is where you list all of the plants and take pictures of your before and after, and you just kind of make special notes about the care of your plant, any growth, any pruning, any problems. Just a fun way to remember which plants you own, you know, what type of plants do you own, and what has their journey been like? And then most important is to name your plant. So while you're putting your plant into your journal, give it a name, whether it's, you know, Miss Figgy or uh, Fig Newton or just just a regular name, whatever you like, whatever makes you smile, give your plant a name, put it in your plant journal, and remember to check on your plant once a week. And that, for me, is a lot easier if my plant has a name. This is Clive, and this is Bruiser, and I've had them for years and years, and I just, you know, I feel like I have a relationship with them. So once a week, you're gonna wanna check on your plant, see how it's doing, inspect it for any sort of like insect damage, any dropping leaves, any problems. And then, you know, just make sure to kind of talk to your plant and give it some positive love and some positive intention. Once you've done that, you're gonna to wanna to consider whether it's time to water your plant. And I'm a big fan of watering and fertilizing at the same time. We make our fiddly fig plant food so that you can use it every time you water so that you never forget and your plant gets that steady dose of nutrition. And so as part of, you know, bonding with your plant, I think it's really fun to have a plant journal and to sort of like track your progress of your fiddly fig growth so that you know how it's doing. And it gives you some positive feedback as a plant owner that your plant is growing and looking better and bigger and healthier every single week. I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.